the nervous system is divided into two anatomical divisions. The central nervous system, which is composed of the brain and spinal cord. And the peripheral nervous system, which includes neurons located outside the brain and spinal cord, that is, any nerves that enter or leave the CNS. The peripheral nervous system is subdivided into the efferent and afferent divisions. The afferent neurons bring information from the periphery to the CNS. And the efferent neurons carry signals away from the brain and spinal cord to the peripheral tissues. The efferent portion of the peripheral nervous system is further divided into two major functional subdivisions, the somatic and the autonomic nervous system. The somatic efferent neurons are involved in the voluntary controlled functions such as contraction of the skeletal muscles. Somatic nerves are not interrupted by ganglia. And their neurons are myelinated. That takes us to some terms you should know. The neuron or the nerve cell, is the building block of the nervous system. There is a video down in the description will give you a brief intro about it. Synapse, is the junction between two neurons, in this case it is called a ganglion. Or it may be located between the neuron and the effector organ. Preganglionic neuron, is the neuron which its cell body is embedded in CNS and ends at the ganglion. And postganglionic neuron, its cell body originates at the ganglion and ends at the effector organ. Ok let's continue. The second division of the efferent portion of the peripheral nervous system is the autonomic nervous system or ANS. It is responsible for all the involuntary functions that occur unconsciously. It is composed of efferent neurons that innervate smooth muscle of the viscera. Cardiac muscle vasculature and the exocrine glands so it controls digestion cardiac output blood flow and glandular secretions anatomically it is interrupted by ganglia and the postganglionic fibers are usually not myelinated The efferent ANS is divided into the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous systems, as well as the enteric nervous system. Anatomically, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic neurons originate in the CNS and emerge from two different spinal cord regions. The preganglionic neurons of the sympathetic system come from the thoracic and lumbar regions. And the parasympathetic preganglionic fibers arise from cranial nerves 3. 7, 9, and 10, as well as from the sacral region, S2 to S4, of the spinal cord. The preganglionic neuron in the sympathetic division is short compared to the postganglionic one. In most cases, the preganglionic nerve endings of the sympathetic nervous system are highly branched enabling one preganglionic neuron to interact with many postganglionic neurons, so giving generalized effect. While in the parasympathetic division the opposite is found. Sympathetic and parasympathetic actions often oppose each other. If we simplified that I would say parasympathetic is turned on during rest and digest. And sympathetic is turned on in emergencies which is known as, fight flight and fright conditions. We'll talk about that in details in the upcoming lessons. And the final division of the autonomic nervous system is the enteric neurons. It is a collection of nerve fibers that innervate the gastrointestinal tract, pancreas, and gallbladder. This system functions independently of the CNS. It is modulated by both the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. It controls the motility. Exocrine and endocrine secretions, 
and microcirculation of the GI tract. If you want to easily recall this info, download this free PDF from the link down in the description. That's all for this lesson. Help me to know if that video was useful for you through using like or a comment. Subscribe and follow my social networks to easily get my videos.